Space probe, Deep Space One, was launched October 24, 98. It used a type of engine called an ion propulsion drive. This generated only a weak force, but could do so for a long period of time using only small amounts of fuel. If the probe has a mass of 474 kilograms, so mass equals 474 kilograms, and is traveling at initial speed of 275, so V initial equals 275 meters per second. No other forces except the ion drive, which has a force, so we have force equals 0 0.056 newtons, which acts parallel to the displacement, which is delta x equals 2.42 times 10 to the 9 meters. 2.42 million kilometers is 0.89. What is the final speed of the probe? All right. Work equals delta E, right? The change in energy. Work equals delta E. I get a screen here. All right. So work equals delta E. Well, what is work? So it's force times delta x, right? What energy have I changed? Potential or, or kinetic? Kinetic, right? I'm not, probe is in space, so there's really no up and down. <coughs> so it's delta k. F delta x equals one half m v final squared minus one half m v initial squared. Is that accurate? Delta anything is what? Final minus initial. Does mass cancel out for me? No. Doesn't in this case. Hey, what is my unknown in that equation? That's it. The physics is over. We recognize that we're going to use that one, and then we substituted in what work was, and we substituted in what the change in energy was, and now we've got our equation. It's a lot easier. Could we do it another way? How else could we solve this? We have a force. We could calculate the acceleration, right? could calculate the acceleration from F equals MA and then substitute that into our initial set of equations from the very beginning of the course and do the same thing. This is a one-step problem. That would be a two-step problem. Okay, do the algebra. V final equals 2F delta X over M plus V initial squared Grind that all out, plug and chug all the numbers in, grind it out, you get 804.6 meters per second. So this tiny little force on this rocket, on this space probe, can get it going 804 meters per second. That's very fast. 50 meters per second is 112 miles an hour. So this is moving. Why is it that it can do that? Acting over a great distance for clearly a long period of time, so from impulse, what else is interesting about space? Effectively, there's zero resistance. There's no, there's no friction up there. That's our one spot where there is no friction effectively, and we can deal with it. Questions? Can we just set the equation up? <laughs> 